So, andito tayo ulit. Um, hi, and medyo natagalan yung pag-upload dati ng new video. Well, you know, uh, nag-tax season kasi, naging very busy tayo preparing ITRs. But then, andito na tayo ulit since tapos na yung filing. Uh, I would be showing you and teaching you a very important topic na would be of great interest sa maraming business, lalo na mga small business enterprise. This is um, a video that I created as a suggestion ng isang friend dahil nga lately mayroong mga, uh, mayroon ako isang client na nasulatan ng DIR na pinapag-update ng registration at uh, pinaparegister na yung kanilang mga online activities. And since nagkaroon tayo ng DCQ, ECQ, nagkaroon very uh, common yung online selling. And BIR is now uh, encouraging yung mga online sellers to register their businesses. So this is um, good news to all of you dahil this will really be of help because there would be exemptions sa taxes dito. Okay? So start na tayo. So our topic is how to be tax exempt as BMBE. What is BMBE? It's Barangay Micro Business Enterprise. Okay? Republic Act number 9178. This is an act to promote the establishment of Barangay Micro Business Enterprises, providing incentives and benefits therefore and for other purposes. So, ina-encourage tayo na maging part ng economy yung mga ating uh, maliliit na businesses. And sinusuportahan nito ng gobyerno by coming up with this app. Ano ba tong BMBE? How do we define this? And how do you qualify as BMBE? So, define natin. Barangay Micro Business Enterprise refers to any business entity or enterprise engaged in production, processing, manufacturing, of products or commodities including agro-processing, trading, and services, whose total assets, including those arising from loans but exclusive of land on which the particular business entity's office, plant, and equipment are situated, shall not be more than 3 million pesos. So, mamaya, hihimayin natin itong definition ng BMBE na to. Ano ba yung sinutukoy na service dito? Pag sinabing service dyan sa definition ng BMBE, hindi raw kasali yung mga rendered by anyone who is duly licensed by the government after having passed the government licensure exam in connection with the exercise of one's profession. So if you're a professional with a government license, halimbawa CPA, um, teacher, uh, licensed engineer, veterinarian ka, and all lahat ng may government license hindi qualified na mag-apply as BMD. So, hindi ako sali. Okay? So, yung assets na pinanggit natin sa definition, ano yung assets na tinutukoy dyan? Yung assets daw ay lahat ng uri ng properties, real or personal, owned by the BMB and used for the conduct of its business. So, lahat ng assets, ke real, ke personal. Dapat owned ng BMB. So, kung hindi naka-register as owned by the business, hindi yun kasama sa assets ng business. Okay. So, how does one become eligible as BMB? So, marami tayong criteria. Una daw, Nandun sa definition, ha, dapat engage ka sa production, processing, manufacturing of products, including agro-processing, kasama rin ang mga trading or yung pagbebenta, yung buying and selling or merchandising and services. Okay? Pangalawa, yung business enterprise daw dapat may asset na 3 million or less. Kasama yung mga inutang na assets, pero hindi kasama ang land on which the plant and equipment are located. So, hindi kasama ang land. Okay. Pangatlong criteria, the business enterprise or service provider in, 
in connection with his or her exercise of profession is not a professional. So kung kayo ay nagpa-practice ng profession pero hindi naman kayo licensed by the government as a professional, so meron akong isang example dyan, may nabasa ko, virtual bookkeeper siya, nag-apply siya ng BMBE, nag-qualify siya. Kasi being a virtual bookkeeper, do, hindi mo naman kailangan pumasa ng government licensure exam. So, yung doktor, hindi kasali, lawyers, hindi kasali. Yan. Sunod na criteria. The business enterprise, dapat daw hindi branch, hindi subsidiary, hindi division or office na isang large-scale enterprise. Kasi hindi na naman magiging micro-business enterprise. Yan kung ikaw ay branch or ikaw ay subsidiary. At hindi ka rin dapat daw ay franchisee. So, hindi kasali yung mga yan. Because that's, that makes the business macro na malaking business na yan din na qualified talaga. Okay? So, ano pa? Ano naman? ang mga incentives and benefits na ma-enjoy nyo kapag kayo ay mag-register or mag-qualify as BMB. One, exempt kayo sa income tax. So, dyan pa lang. Magandang magandang benefit na yan. Yung BMB daw ay exempt, take note, income tax. Yung ay, you are not exempted sa ibang klase ng taxes. But income tax, you are exempted. So, your income arising from your operations as BMBE, it's exempted from income tax, but halimbawa, percentage tax, exempted pa kayo? Ah, hindi na sa percentage tax. Dahil yun ay ibang klase na ng business tax. Hindi na siya income tax. So, babayar, excuse me, babayaran yun na si percentage tax. That is 3% lang naman ng gross sales. Eh, exempted naman na kayo sa income tax. So, Dapat meron na makita government sa atin. <laughs> okay. So, yung mga LGUs then they are encouraged either to reduce the amount of local taxes and fees at saka charges imposed sa mga exempt BMPs. Okay? So, ano pa ang benefit aside from exemption from taxes? Exempted din daw sa coverage ng minimum wage law. Big sabihin, pwede magpasahod ng mas mababa sa minimum wage Who oh, ay eh, sabi nga ito? <laughs> the BMBE shall be exempt from coverage of the minimum wage law. Pero, ayan. Provided all employees covered under this act shall be entitled to the same benefits given to any regular employee such as SSS and healthcare benefits. Sa lahat ng mandatory government contributions and na benefic beneficial sa mga employees, dapat ma-enjoy din, kahit minimum wage sila. And of course, yung minimum wage nyo, huwag naman masyadong malayo dun sa ating minimum wage. Okay? Medyo fair naman dapat tayo sa ating mga ipasasahuri. Okay? So, exempt sa tax, exempt sa minimum wage. Ito pa, meron daw kayong credit delivery or special credit window. Ano yan? So, meron daw kayong priority sa isang special credit window na sinet up ng mga, fi ng mga financing companies para sa mga BMBP. So, halimbawa, si itong mga uh, financing companies na to, si Land Bank of the Philippines, si DBP, si Small Business Guarantee and Finance Corporation, People's Credit and Finance Corporation, lahat daw sila ay magsiset up ng credit window. Ibig sabihin, pwedeng mangutang si BMB dyan. May priorities. Okay? Of course, subject to certain requirements naman yan. Okay? So, for your financing needs, meron tayong special uh, credit window sa mga organizations na to. Of course, consistent with BSP policies, rules, and regulations. Ganun din si GSIS at saka si SSS, meron din daw silang special windows para sa mga BMBEs. Okay? Para yung mga BMBEs na member ng SSS o GSIS, meron ding um, incentives siya. So, in coordination with um, government agencies natin, mga kagaya ng DTI, DOST, ano pa, 
uh, yung UPISSI, at saka yung mga CDAs natin, yung ating CDA, makakatu uh, lahat sila will help sa ating uh, technology transfer, production, and management training, at saka mga marketing assistance ng mga PMDs. So, hindi lang sila, kasama din yung uh, TESDA, kasama din yung TLRC. So, lahat sila would definitely uh, assist you at makaka-avail tayo ng mga benefits na to, ng technology transfer, ng mga training, and pag market ng inyong product. Okay? So, saan na yung magre-register? Let's say qualified kayo and you are happy that you have these benefits. So, saan tayo magre-register? Pwede kayong mag-register ng business nyo libre with charge sa DTI through its agency's negosyo center. So, may mga negosyo centers kasi na uh, sa mga regions, may mga sinet up din na negosyo centers. So, kung wala man, you can visit the DTI office and doon kayo mag apply as BNB senior. Okay, so paano naman mag-register? Ito yung procedure. Okay, accomplish nyo and i-file yung BMBE uh, Form 01 file. Okay. Tapos si DTI, through its negosyo center, i-evaluate yan yung application nyo for the purposes of determining kung eligible kayo or qualified as BMBE. So meron kayong si DTI, after finding the applicant to be eligible or qualified, pagka nakita niyang qualified kayo, bibigyan kayo ng BMBE Certificate of Authority within 15 days. Pag hindi nabigay ang assumption, ito, the BMBE Certificate of Authority shall be deemed approved. Sabi dyan, where in such a case or cases, it becomes ministerial on the part of DTI to issue the BMBE Certificate of Authority. So, pag dumagpas ng 15 days, dapat issue ang kayo ng BMBE Certificate of Authority. So, pag na-issuehan na kayo ng Certificate of Authority, gano'n naman katagal ang validity niyan? Okay, lifetime ba? Ayan. Yung BMBE Certificate of Authority ay effective for the period of 2 years. So, hanggang dalawang taon effective. So, i-renew. Kung gusto nyo i-renew after 2 years, yan. So, mula issuance, 2 years from that date, effective si Certificate of Authority. Ibig sabihin, 2 years kayong exempted from income tax, 2 years kayo, 2 years yung ma-enjoy yung mga benefits na minention ko kanina. Okay? So, the Certificate of Authority may be renewed for the same period of 2 years and every 2 years thereafter, subject to the applicant's continued compliance with the eligibility requirements prescribed by law. So, as long as magpo-qualify kayo and eligible pa rin kayo, you can always renew your Certificate of Authority. Okay? Magkano ang gastos pag nag-register kayo as BMB? The registration and issuance of the Certificate of Authority of the LGU is free and must be done promptly. So, paano naman mag avail ng tax exemption? So, here, here you go. You already have your Certificate of Authority. Then, how do you avail of the tax exemption? Kung kayo ay bagong business, nag-register kayo sa RDO, pagkakuha nyo ng certificate, dadalhin nyo si uh, BMBE Certificate of Authority. Pakita nyo that you are BMBE, pwede nyo papalitan si Certificate of Registration at tanggalin nyo doon yung income tax. Okay, and you have to submit your copy of the BMBE Certificate of Authority. Okay, pwede bang ma-revoke yung exemption? Pwede bang na-avail nyo na and later on mawala yung exemption na to? Okay, kapag nag-transfer kayo ng place of business, revoke si BMBE. Kapag yung total assets nyo lumampas na ng 3 million, revoke si BMBE tax exemption. Okay, what else? Kapag nag-voluntary surrender kayo ng certificate of authority, of course, 
and of course death of the registered individual owner of the BMB. What else? If you violate or did not comply with the provisions of RA 9178, that's another reason for revocation. Ano pa? Pag nag-merge, nag-consolidate ang entity na hindi eligible. Yung mabawa, kayo eligible, yung ka-merge nyo or ka-consolidate nyo, hindi eligible as BMBE, yun, revoke na si exemption. Ibinenta nyo si BMBE sa another owner. If it is a sole proprietorship, pwede namang mag-apply yung bumili. Okay? But definitely, hindi na niya maa-avail or hindi na niya magagamit yung previous certificate of authority. Okay? Pag, of course, alam naman natin, if there are fake and falsified documents, that would disqualify you. Retirement ng business. Umayaw ka na, sinara mo na yung business or nasuspend na yung operations nyo na isang taon. Okay. Revoke na rin. Si income tax exemption. And of course, this is related to fake and falsified documents. Kapag meron kayong inalis or mga maling declarations or statements sa mga inapplyan nyo, definitely mawawala yung mga ma-enjoy nyong tax exemption. If you want some guide, you can you can go through this um, search nyo to. This is like a complete guide galing sa DTI and it mada download nyo. This is in PDF. Okay, it's a complete guide, ma Q and A about uh, BM. Okay, thank you very much. So ito yung complete uh, tips on how you could register as BMB and how you could enjoy tax exemption and exemption from minimum wage earner law. So, abangan niyo yung mga susunod na lessons natin. I'll be coming up with lessons on payroll. It's going to be a series of lessons kasi maraming uh, malawak ang coverage ng payroll. I'm preparing the materials, so abangan niyo po natin. Thank you very much.